Hey guys, it's me, Wardrobe's Fire. Today's video is called Mainstream. Many already know, but for those that don't know, there is a thing called the Highway to Hell. It is real, it is genuine. It would be considered today mainstream, be it the media or the entertainment system. It's all mainstream. You know, God says very clearly that the gateway to Him is very narrow, and the gateway to Hell is very wide. So if the gateway to Hell is very wide, this would mean that there is a passage of massive people walking into the gate. By the millions and millions and millions going down that path to Hell. That would be a massive stream of people. Mainstream media today is exactly that. You have demonic celebrities posing and preying on the innocent. Using them to seduce them, to entice them, to make them emotionally unstable so that their demons could take over their bodies. You have things today in the world that are so fake, and the good people are even accepting the fake. How can you call it fake and not wonder, how is this fake? If life is real, and everything you do in life is real, then how can anything be fake? Think about the fake. It's quite something spectacular when you think about it. Because the fake say to themselves, I'm not good enough as my own self. I need to pretend to be somebody else. So they go through the life without any conscience because they are being somebody else while the real genuine person they used to be is locked away inside. They become a vessel for a demonic entity. You could clearly, very clearly see it when MTV showed up on the picture. It was so blatantly obvious what MTV was really about. Mass corruption of the media of the media sources and of the people out there listening to it. You see, MTV used to come out with music all day long. Like the, the VH1 channel does now, the 80s VH1 channel still does all music all day long. And then they brought out reality shows. Dumb reality shows. Narcissistic reality shows. They started praising what should not be praised. Such as teenage motherhood. Spoiled rotten people. Sex, popularity, drugs and alcohol. It all seems harmless. But when you don't understand that it's actually influencing the masses and altering the way that they see life. Because you have to understand that the masses out there watch about seven to eight hours of television a day. They are influenced by it. Take the, exam take the example of uh, the last episode of Jerry Seinfeld when that came out. Everybody in New York City the, night, the day after was talking about the episode. It's quite insane, folks. Take your wrestling. These are two ballerinas inside of a ring who know the moves that the next person is going to make, who help each other make the moves. While the commentators are saying, yeah, he beats him up, and the other, and he got a body slammed and everything like that. This is two actors in a fucking ring who are being paid to take a fall on a weekly basis. Who sit there and role play in a ring for you, make you think that it's all real. There are people out there that are subscribing to this WWE subscription channel, paying $10 a month for it. It is all fake. You've all gotten so used to the fake, you've forgotten what's real. And that was the master plan all along. Because in the real zone, things are bad and prohibited. In the fake world, everything is allowed and nothing is taboo. They're trying to make you become psychopathic by doing this. Because people that are fake are psychopathic. They are fake because the real, real personality of them is locked away inside. 
And they have switched that off and become a whole different character. They are acting through life. You cannot depend on these people, count on these people, or even think they will keep them to a promise that they ever make to you. They are psychopathic. Not every psychopath is a murderer. But they are people that alter their own reality. And they hide from their genuine reality. The guy from Mythbusters even said it too. He said, I substitute your reality for my own. And he's telling that to the, the masses of people out there who watch this show. As if he condones it, therefore makes it good so that they, they can feel less guilty for doing it too. You see, that's what they're trying to do with the TV, you know. They're trying to make bad behavior seem like it's okay. Like you just get a slap on the wrist for it. That's what they're really trying to do. They're trying to alter your mind. By slowly making you think it's okay to do very bad prohibited things. I wish you all would just bother to read the Bible a little bit. You would see all of this stuff. It's telling you this is all happening. Let's not even get started how the fact that the Masons own MTV and that MTV is actually inside the Mason building. Ugh. You know, Masons are a satanic cult, folks. Anything that comes from the Masons is doused and drenched in satanic juices. So if you're watching it, you're, you're sitting there contributing to a satanic force. You're, you're wanting to be with Satan. You're saying, okay, it's just entertainment, let me watch it. You know, that's why we even call it entertainment. Because we don't want to admit that it's a bunch of people standing in a ring, dressed in a tutu, basically, in spandex, throwing each other around, but catching each other as well. You don't want to realize that your soap operas, well, when it's over, they actually go home with a paycheck. You don't want to accept the fact that your celebrity pop stars are actually dirty little scumbags who had to take it up the butt and, and suckle on a dick to get where they are today. You don't want to see reality. You want to see the false, the false image, the gas lighting. Your president has been gaslighting you since day one. How else do you think that he can get away with continuously lying to you and breaking every single promise? I told you this before. The narcissists themselves, they love to break every promise they ever made you. They know every promise they made you. They know. And they will do everything possible to break that promise. Even the tiniest little promises they'll remember. So that when after they're gone, you could sit there and say, Wow, I really got royally fucked because they really did break every single promise they ever gave me. This is why Obama keeps lying to you and breaking all promises. And this is also the reason why you're giving in to him because you are being gaslighted. You are under a spell. You are under control. You are being mind controlled. You could let it all go. You could just start giving up on it. You know how? By stop believing that your government is God and start realizing that God is God. This is me, Wardrums Fire. Have a good evening, all. See you later.